Hello, my name is Diego and I'm going to talk about emotional intelligence and how it appears in school. I don't want you only know a theoretical meaning of emotional intelligence, so I will show a creative activity to understand it better. Well, what we understand when we talk about emotional intelligence? As the word itself indicates, is the ability to identify and manage our own feelings and emotions, but also the feelings or emotions of other people, for example, my mother, my father, my grandmother. So I can say that emotional intelligence is something essential in the school system. As Daniel Coleman explained, it's possible to classify the emotional intelligence in four areas or domains. The first, self-awareness, requires to recognize the emotions of oneself and as they involve. The second, self-management, means to regulate emotions and use them in a context and, for example, in making decisions. The third is named empathy. I want you to, to pay more, more attention. Uh, it includes awareness of the emotions and feelings of other people. Um, so you need to understand the emotional feelings, for example, of, of your father, of your mother, or your grandmother, for example. And the last is named social skills. Um, it relates to relationship and interpersonal skills. Then, in my view, then my view. Then, in my view, a great teacher. Then, then, in my view, a great teacher who really wants to develop emotions. Then, in my view, a great teacher who really wants to develop emotions in the student have to take into account all these domains. This is because, in the same way that emotions or feelings take part in in the real life. Uh, every day they are present in a school. So I think that it's very important that children learn how to, to manage in, in different uh, situations of the life in which emotions are involved. So the, the role of the, of the teacher is, is essential. It's very important that, that the teacher involve a lot. So I have a clear idea. The teacher has to involve a lot and design a creative activities in order to develop emotions and, fi and feelings. As I said, there are four domains related to emotional intelligence, but we focus on one of them. Empathy. And why empathy and not another skill? Well, I want that my children work on the on the shows of another people who, who have problems and learn to overtake difficulties. I want that many times we, we are not conscious of, of problems um, around us. For example, the famine or people with serious illness. So uh, I think that teachers of, of school need, need to, to transmit the, the idea or the importance that it's very important to, to enjoy the life and not get angry as soon. Well, uh, we are going to work empathy by a role play activity. I think that a role play activity is a good way that children um, work in the in the shoes of other people and, as I said, uh, learn to overtake uh, some difficulties. So the first step to, to do the activity is organize the class uh, into a U shape. 
Then I, I give my, my students a worksheet that includes some pictures. The first is about one boy who has broken his arm. The second refers to, to a boy who can't see because of a physical problem. And the last one is about one, one boy, one shield, uh, that is very, 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 very angry. And he can't eat because he hasn't enough money to, to buy food. Well, uh, what I want uh, is that, that people, uh, I mean that my children, uh, feel the, the same that these children feel. So they need to, to put in, in the same case or as I said, uh, in other words, to work in the, in the shows. I think it's a good way to, to know how, how children who have problems in their life feel. Um, they can write what they, they think in a paper. Then, in groups of four or five people, they can share uh, the information that they got.